What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. There is a lot of things that just piss me off whenever I'm out driving, and today I'm going to be sharing all of that with you. Let's just get right into it. So the first thing for me, in my opinion, everybody gets pissed off about. And it is people not using their blinker whenever they are going to be turning. To me, it is so simple. You either hit the lever up or down to just let people know which direction you plan on turning. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yet people still do not use it. And it just pisses me off every freaking time. So the next thing, it might just be me, but whenever I'm driving down the road and there's a vehicle parked on my side of the road and there's another vehicle coming in the opposite direction, I always stop and wait for the vehicle to pass before I swerve around the parked vehicle. Yet, whenever I'm driving down the road and there's a vehicle parked on the opposite side and there's a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, that vehicle always seems to swerve around the parked vehicle. To me, I just don't get it. It doesn't take very long for me to pass. Why can't you wait so then you can go around the vehicle safely? The next one is people driving way too slow. You've probably heard of Sunday drivers, but whenever it happens all the freaking time, any day of the week, it really pisses me off. To me, driving way too slow is just as dangerous as driving way too fast. The speed limit is there for a reason. That is the speed you should be driving at. So if you're going way too slow, it could cause an accident just as going way too fast could. To me, there is some exceptions to me getting pissed off while I'm driving whenever I see people driving too slow. For example, if it looks like the person has just gotten their license, they're a new driver on the road. Because right now, they're just learning how to drive. They don't know yet, so I give them a little bit more credit. And also, elder people, whenever they drive, if they're driving a little bit slow, to me, there is a lot of elder people that are on the road that honestly shouldn't be. I know, I think it's once you turn 80, I might be wrong on this, but once you turn 80, every couple of years, you have to go and do your test again. In my opinion, I think they should be doing it a little bit more frequent because whenever you're getting older, anything can happen within those years. Your vision can start going, your senses could start going. So a lot more people just don't know how to follow the rules of the road whenever they're up in age. I think they should be doing it a little bit more frequently and have them doing the tests a little bit more. I think that would benefit, but I am a little bit more respectful. But as for anybody else that is driving way too slow when they shouldn't be, to me, I just don't get it. That is a good way to cause an accident. Whenever I'm driving behind a slow driver, if I know they're not a new driver or an elder driver, I sometimes lay on the horn. I know I probably shouldn't, but I do because it pisses me off that much. So the next one to me should be on everybody's list and it is distracted driving. And I'm not just talking about people being on their phone calling or texting while they're driving. There's a lot of people that shave, do their makeup and a whole bunch of other nonsense that to me, you shouldn't be. You should be focusing on the road. You should be focusing on your driving. I believe here in Ontario, they just upped the tickets for distracted driving. I think they're close to $1,000 now. The only thing I disagree is drinking and eating while driving. Because the way I see it, if you can safely eat or drink while you're driving, I'm not talking about a burger or something that could be really messy. I'm just talking about you having fries next to you and you're having a few while you're driving. Or if you have a drink from McDonald's or a water bottle or something like that that you can just easily access that is just sitting in the cup holder. To me, I think that should be okay, but they still consider that distracted driving. So the next one might just be me. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys make the decision here. But whenever I'm driving down the road and I have to make the next left but there's traffic coming in the opposite lane in the opposite direction so normally I will just stop and wait for all the traffic to pass before I take my turn now what pisses me off about this is whenever there's impatient drivers behind me they will pull out around me sometimes they'll honk on the horn sometimes they'll just be pissed off and speed as fast as they can beside me and to me that is very dangerous just patiently wait for all the traffic to go wait for the person to turn to me you shouldn't be passing people especially if there's not a lane next to you to me it doesn't take very long and it's way more safer than going around somebody the next one has been happening to me quite a bit and honestly it just pisses me off and it's the fact that people don't know how to park or don't know how to drive through a parking lot. Whenever I have to go to the grocery store, I usually park the farthest away just because I know there's a lot of stupid drivers in my town. And what happens quite a bit whenever I'm driving, I try to drive pretty slow whenever I'm driving through the parking lot and people just, whenever they're backing out, they just don't look to see if there's anything coming. So they just keep going and going and going. So either I stop and lay on the horn or I just speed up a little bit just so they don't collide with me. So to me, I just don't get why people can't use their mirrors, can't look behind them, can't use their blind spot. Whenever they're backing out of their parking spot, they don't look to see if other vehicles are coming and it pisses me off. 
Whenever I have to go to the post office, there is spots right in front of the post office to park, but a lot of people just don't know how to park there. They either don't know how to parallel park, or they just don't check before they pull out of the parking spot because on this road, it is a pretty busy road in town. It is probably one of the busiest in town here and there is a lot of traffic and whenever you have crazy drivers like that parking in front of the post office that don't know how to park and don't know how to drive, it is very unsafe. So normally I do not park there. There is a road leading to the back. It leads to the back of the police station and the back of the post office. So I usually park along the side of that because that is so much more safer and I know nobody is going to hit me. And the last one to me is more just common sense and it is people at four-way stops whenever there's four vehicles at a four-way stop when people don't know whose turn it is to go. Like to me it depends on what direction you're going so if everybody is turning right everybody can make the turn. It is just as simple as that. Or if you can't think of that, just think who stopped at the stop sign first, which vehicle stopped first, because they are typically the ones that should be going first. Yet people just don't understand that. To me, it is so simple, yet they just don't know it. So I probably did miss a few things, but comment down below what pisses you off the most while you are driving, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.